I was part of the gang that used to bully girls. I didn't know the effect until my sister, my friends did that to her because she had blood and she had stained her skirt while in class. And that laughter, that embarrassment, she felt so small. She felt school was no longer home and she started hating it. That's how she refused to go back to school. Knowing that I had contributed to a challenge that was in my community, I know now that I have to do something about it. A teacher came to school with newspapers that was advertising a scholarship program. It was seeking for young leaders who are academically talented but economically disadvantaged. That spoke to me. It introduced me to a league of young people that were creating change and were doing a difference in their society. It has been able to mentor us into the people we want to be. That is what propelled me to invite a friend a fellow scholar. Jovia, there is this dream that I have. We can form up an organization, and that's how we came up with Africa Well Able. We took on breaking the silence about menstruation. We moved to schools and get the permission to give these girls the information, the hygiene, the body changes, the infections, the early pregnancies. Most of the girls do not have access to this information from their parents. There are myths attached to it. Menstruation is a curse. When you get into menstruation, you're not supposed to walk around, you're supposed to be alone. And it is due to those things that they're dropping out of school. So one day you got out and I wanted to put it on the way you are putting it on. So I put it on, on top of my pants. But you remember the way everyone got excited and they were so happy. The inside out and then I put on. <laughs> They're like, is he serious? Does he know what he's talking about? And we convince them and let them know, oh yeah, we know what we are talking about and teach them. Yeah, put on your skirt and who will know? By the fact that we are nurses, we speak from a medical perspective. The energy a man brings in the room, speaking about matters of sexual reproductive health breaks the mentality of it being unspeakable, it being a taboo, it makes it a matter of all gender to discuss about this openly. Initially, boys would laugh because they didn't know what it was. But when Derek showed them it is normal and they're exposed, they don't do it anymore. So the stigma will go away. And it brings out the excitement. Young girls enjoy someone else explaining what happens to their bodies and inspires many boys to stand for girls. Period poverty is when young girls and young women cannot afford to buy materials to manage their periods. So when they know how to make this pad from easily accessible materials, then they have saved a whole bunch of money and they have saved a whole bunch of days they were going to miss from school. They will understand in class and then we'll have readers tomorrow. Being a nurse means caring. It means loving and serving humankind. For me, a nurse is the heart of a hospital. We do not have enough nurses. We do not have enough health professionals. Now, forming up a clinic gives us a platform to reach to older women and older men in addressing matters of their sexual reproductive health. I'm very hopeful for the future. We are on the right trajectory. And that is all because of the MasterCard Foundation Scholarship. The opportunity has given me the chance to transform the community, has given me the mentorship, the opportunity has given me the platform to also be able to, to be equipped to help my people. They made sure they instill into us that we are the change we want to see in society. There is more that can be done in Africa, in Uganda. Let it be done because it is of great impact to society.